Have you ever trimmed a bud before it's time? I bet it's quite possible you have. A lot of people do that with their forsythia, the shrubs that are blooming right now across the nation with bright yellow blossoms. A lot of people will trim that bud the wrong time of year. With the forsythia shrub, did you know that the minute it finishes blooming, it's already starting to set bud for the following year? Absolutely! The minute that bright yellow blossom is off of that forsythia shrub, that shrub immediately starts to set bud for the following spring. If you're trimming your forsythia weeks and weeks and weeks after it is finished blooming, then you too are cutting off bud before it's time. If you seem to be finding that your forsythia is a little spotty from year to year, but you like to hit it with those shears, then I would recommend you wait until it's finished blooming, and the minute it is finished blooming, you have about a one to two to three week window to get that shrub trimmed. If you don't trim it in that time, you are going to cut off that blossom for your next spring. So it's not just people who plan for the following year. Plants do that too. A lot of other plants that will react the same, your lilac. If you're trimming your lilac later than two or three weeks after it's finished blooming, you are going to cut off the blossoms. The same goes for the rhododendron, the same goes for the azalea. A lot of people are cutting those buds before it's time. If you'd like to get your shrub blooming the best it can bloom, make sure that you trim that within two to three weeks after it has finished blooming. Being a horticulturist, I just opened the empaths garden. The reason I have done that is because I believe that plants teach us a lot of things about life. And when we're cutting off the bud of the forsythia too soon, it reminds me of how we do that in life. I just met a customer today who had a forsythia bush and it was a little spotty bloom and they asked me, Michelle, what's wrong with my forsythia? Well, come to find out, he trimmed it in the fall because it had grown to be a beast. So he cut it back in the fall and he cut off his spring bud. <laughs> Don't we do that in life? Sometimes in life when we're working really hard on something and we're creating something, whatever the goal is in our life, and things start to become chaotic and feel hairy and feel overwhelming, and we just stop and we cut it off right before we were getting ready to bloom. We cut our buds short. Not only are we ravaging our forsythia by trimming at the wrong time of the year, sometimes we ravage our own lives by cutting us back. Maybe we feel like we're too much for somebody, so we tailor ourselves. We make ourselves smaller because maybe it makes someone uncomfortable that we are who we are. Too bad for them. But don't cut your forsythia too late. Make sure you trim it right on time. And don't cut your own buds off in life too soon. You just never know what kind of blossom you can have. And don't listen to all the voices. They don't know you. You know you. If anyone knows you, you know you. You know what's good for you, you know what your body feels like, and you know what you want to do with yourself. Do not allow anyone to cut your butt off before it's time. I'm Michelle. If you'd like to check me out at the Empaths Garden, just shoot me a message. I'll bring you into the group. We talk about gardening and we're going to be talking about life. Any questions you have, let me know. But make sure you let your buds bloom when they need to bloom. I love you. I want you to love you. I want you to have the most beautiful garden life can bring you.